You know, after three long years of worrying about respiratory viruses like COVID and RSV, an old bug making a new surge. Today in the Bay is Chris Sanchez joining us now with the rising rates of something we haven't talked about in a while, Chris, norovirus. Yeah, you know, I feel really fortunate because it is going around in the community. We haven't had it at our house, but if you've had a stomach bug, if you thought you had the stomach flu or food poisoning, there's a very good chance that it was actually norovirus. Cases have been surging in the last couple of weeks. 15% of all norovirus tests have come back positive, according to the CDC. That virus causes vomiting and diarrhea. It's pretty serious in young children and the elderly because they are susceptible to dehydration. It's also dangerous for people with compromised immunity. It is super contagious. And Dr. Peter Chin Hong of UCSF Infectious Disease Department says it's really easy to spread and you might be contagious for a really long time. But for your regular person, I think the story is so compelling because there are very few kinds of diarrhea that have mainly vomiting with some watery diarrhea. It comes in uh, around, you know, one to two days, and it goes away in about four days. But you could be infectious for about one to two weeks after the symptoms even go away. So that is not something that I knew that you could be contagious after you feel better. Dr. Chin Hong says this sounds like a no brainer, but don't share utensils or towels with a sick person. He notes that alcohol based hand sanitizers don't work against norovirus. So you really have to wash your hands with soap and water and remind all the little people in your life to do that as well. Chris, before you go, look, we're talking about norovirus, but we can't forget COVID is still around. Those COVID rates are also rising, right? Yeah, I mean, there's a good chance that somebody you know, whether at work or in your friend circle, have had COVID recently. It's still uh, in the community and people are still getting it, though they're not getting as sick uh, enough to get in, to go to the hospital. We did ask Dr. Peter Ching Hong about that as well. He says vaccinations are run reason why and those treatments. If anybody gets sick and they're, you know, older or immune compromised, uh, don't forget about getting diagnosed and getting access to Paxlovid. Now we are starting to hear more about the long-term effects of COVID. We don't know what all of them are going to be, so it's best to avoid getting it in the first place because as we know, it is very disruptive if you have it and you can't go to work or you have to keep the kids home from school. Marcus. So true. And we still don't know the long-term effects of all of it. So it's a lot. All right, exactly. Chris. And wash your hands, as you said. Wash your hands. All right. Thanks, Chris. <laughs>